when my wife and I first got married, we decided, hey, you know what? We want to live downtown. I want to be able to walk to work. I want to be able to be close to all of my favorite spots here in Knoxville. We absolutely love it. And this one bedroom apartment is probably the coolest place that I've ever lived. It's a really awesome apartment, but it's a one bedroom apartment. So where's my sim racing stuff going to go? That's a big problem. So I convinced my wife to let me put a race car simulator underneath our bed. I thought about it long and hard and I realized a loft bed would be a fantastic solution. A loft bed is kind of like a bunk bed, but it doesn't have the bottom bunk. Let's take a look at it. So here's the bed with the rig underneath it. The bed's rated to hold 800 pounds. I got the plans offline. Works really great for our purposes. And then underneath it, you can see the rig. It's a Track Racer TR80, uh, which is an 80-20 extrusion rig. Uh, it's really sturdy, very customizable. Uh, no flex in the wheel deck or anything like that. I actually really like this cockpit. Probably one of the first things you notice is I don't have a monitor right in front of me and it's kind of off to the side here. And that's because I race in virtual reality. I have a Samsung Odyssey Plus that I really like. I really like to race in virtual reality because uh, it's just a lot more immersive. And I've sat in a race car before. This is just like sitting in a race car. You you feel, uh, you forget almost that you're in the headset. Uh, there are some drawbacks to it. You definitely have to have a more powerful computer. And I've built this over time. I've slowly upgraded uh, this computer into what it is today. For my wheelbase, I'm using a Simplicity SW13C Plus, and it is a direct drive wheel. It's a pretty affordable direct drive. I think I paid seven, eight hundred dollars for it. In my mind, I thought this was a good investment. I'm not gonna want to upgrade this later on. I'm gonna be pretty content with this for a good while, I think. I have some Fnatic V3 pedals, uh, just some basic V3 pedals, no mods or anything. I have a Thrustmaster shifter, which I think works just perfectly fine for all my stuff and I can change it to a sequential shifter so I am prepared for the next gen car as well. Got two different button boxes. I got this one over here that has some ignition switches. I use it to control my brake bias and some iRacing chat stuff. And then this other one is specifically to control black boxes. I can change, you know, tires and stuff for pit stops. Uh, it's a really good elegant solution for that. For all the NASCAR stuff, I have an actual MPI wheel. I picked it up for a pretty uh, good price. I also have this Ayrton Senna uh, replica F1 wheel um, for one of his McLaren cars. It works really, really well. I did have some paddle shifters put on it, so it's um, you know a little bit more versatile. Does all this stuff make me a better sim racer? Not really. I bought all this stuff because I think it's gonna last me a long time and I'm not gonna have a desire to upgrade it later. I enjoy this part of it. I like the immersion aspect to it. Sim racing is a fantastic thing to get into if you're a race fan. I like to compare it to like playing pickup games of basketball or you know little intramural sports leagues and different things like that. I, that's what sim racing kind of is for the racing community to me. It's a cool thing. We, you gotta love it. You gotta appreciate it to some extent. Um, yeah, it's fun. I like it. So yeah, that's my sim racing setup. Uh, make sure you like this video. Give me a thumbs up because that helps out the YouTube algorithm, uh, lets more people see this video. So if you like the video, make sure to do that and leave a comment down below, uh, just because I like to see the discussions that you guys have. Um, I think that's a lot of fun as well. Also, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Links for those are in the description below. But until next time, my name's Tyler. This is Tied and Loose Off and I will see you in the next video.